हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन चैनल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस एट होम इन दिस सेशन ऑफ पाइथन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वाइल लूप वाइल लूप इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ लूपिंग मैकेनिज्म थ्रू व्हिच वी आर एबल टू परफॉर्म आवर रिपीटेटिव वर्क इजीयर इन जनरल दिस लूप कैन बी अप्लाइड टू अ प्रोग्राम वेयर द नंबर ऑफ आइटरेशंस इज नॉट नोन बिफोरहैंड the while loop keeps on executing the block of statement as long as the specified test condition evaluates to true means if the condition is true it will keep on repeating the task or the set of statements and when the value will become false it will stop executing the loop further while loop is the simplest loop it has four main components initialization condition or text expression loop body and step value now we will understand all these steps one by one the first thing is initialization it is used to assign an initial value to the loop control variable for example a is equal to 10 next is condition or text expression this statement checks whether the loop body will be further executed or not the loop keeps executing till the condition or text expression is true means if we compare a variable with a value and then on the basis of that comparison we can check whether we have to move in the loop further or not then next we have loop body it contains the set of statements that are required to iterate or repeat means if the condition is true then what has to be repeated or what has to be iterated that comes under loop body and then the fourth point is step value this statement keeps updating the loop control variable so that a final value is achieved and the loop terminates it can be to increase some value by 1 or 2 or any other number or we can have a decrement also but at least we should have some value specified through which the loop would keep on working further the syntax firstly we need to initialize then we specify the keyword while followed by the condition and then the colon symbol and then we need to specify the set of statement which comes under the loop body and finally the step value through which the loop has to be continued now we will talk about infinite loop infinite loop or endless loop is a sequence of instructions in a computer program which loops endlessly it happens either due to the loop having no terminating condition or having the condition that can never be met means if we want to keep on repeating the task and we want that it should not end at any point so that is the kind of infinite loop to come out of the infinite loop you have to terminate the interactive mode or program execution by closing the interactive mode window and the next one is loop else yes every loop have an optional else block as well the else part is executed if the loop terminates normally fine if it is normal termination then else part is executed if all the values in the sequence get used in a standard way without the loop being forcefully terminated however it is not mandatory to have an else block with the loop block it is just a secure way to check that the loop has terminated normally fine now we will be learning while loop and these kind of infinite loop and else loop topics with the help of practical examples so let's work with python so you can see the python shell on the screen we'll go to file and i'll open a recent file that is act.python so in this example you can see that c is having a value 1 and the example is while c less than equal 5 colon symbol print c c equal to c plus 
means we have to print the value of c till it is less than equal to 5 fine and afterwards it will be checked and then the value will be printed by having the increment 1 and then every time it will, it will be checked with c if the condition is specified then output will come accordingly so you can see that the value of c is 1 and then it will be 2 then 3 then 4 and 5 fine it has already been discussed in the previous video also now we will be learning about the different examples and different variations of while loop for example i make a small change here say instead of 5 i make it 10 right and then instead of 1 i do it like 2 then what will be the reflection so you can see that we are able to print all the odd numbers between 1 to 10 why because we started with 1 and we are incrementing 2 but we have restricted that it should not go beyond 10 so that's why we are able to get the values all the odd numbers between 1 to 10 if i'll make a change say 2 and here i write 20 and then i execute that means i'll be able to get the table of 2 or we can say i am able to get all the even numbers between 2 to 20 fine so that means the same logic can be used to find the table of a number also we will be learning that concept in next upcoming examples but before that i would like to show you one more example that is c multiply c fine and then here i would be giving initially one now run so if we look at the execution very carefully firstly we got the square of two the square of three square of four square of five square of six and if i initialize the value of c by one and i restrict it till 10 and then i execute so now i am able to see all the squares of numbers from 1 to 10 i repeat squares of numbers from 1 to 10 that means square of 1 square of 2 square of 3 so on and finally the square of 10 so these are very simple examples very common examples that we can practice while working with while loop now the next example one of my favorite as i discussed earlier also that is to find the table of a number so what i am going to do is initially i would take a variable n is equal to int and then input enter a number fine that is we are actually finding out to uh, you know get the table of a number so n is equal to int input enter a number and then c already we have initialized with 1 and then i am taking c less than equal to 10 there is no problem and then i will be taking print firstly n n means the number whose table we are getting comma and then we will be showing the multiplication symbol so that multiplication symbol you can take x also or you if you want to take star you can take star also and then c comma and then equal and then n multiply c now let's execute the program yeah okay there is an error for c equal to one so now execute actually there was a very simple error i tell you just a minute so you can see that the table of number is printed actually one bracket was not put up but it was showing the error here that's why we were not able to execute so i have entered the number eight and then you can see the table of eight is printed let's execute one more time and now i give the number five and i'm able to see the table of number 5 multiply 1 equal to 5 and so on 5 multiply 10 equal to 50 so this is one of the very simple program of while and this way we can perform so many other 
programming under while loop now i'll be showing you one example of infinite loop so before that i would just uh, remove this input n and then i'll just write here print suppose c fine and then i'll be writing here greater than equal to 1 and now i execute the program so you can see that it's continuously executing there is no stop why have a look c equal to 1 c greater than equal to 1 the condition is true print the value of c we are printing c equal to c plus 1 then go back and still the value is greater than 1 and it, it is keep on incrementing every time and it will always remain greater than 1 that's why it's it is an execution continuously and it is actually a concept of infinite loop fine so we may uh, do it intentionally or unintentionally but we should be careful it may actually affect the processing of your computer also fine now we stop it and let's uh, talk about the example of else means if we do something in while loop we may also have the purpose to use else for example while c less than equal 10 means if the value of c is less than equal 10 we have to print it and then it has to be incremented by c equal to c plus 1 and then here we can write else and then we can write print and then we can write one more print function and we can give the message loop terminated fine basically when we do this empty print statement one single print it is actually just giving a kind of uh, next line uh, concept so we execute now so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then there is a break that is the empty print statement and then loop terminated this is basically just for the checking that the processing of the loop is actually completed or not so i hope in this video you have learned the basic concepts of while loop you have also seen so many programs which we have practiced and we also talked about infinite loop and we have also covered the topic loop else so i hope you like the video so thank you so much for watching it keep sharing keep liking and don't forget to subscribe the channel and the name of the channel you know very well computer classes at home thank you so much stay safe at home god bless you